The ironic thing about all of this is the withdrawal agreement, including the backstop, would put the North in a uniquely advantageous situation, which is badly needed to address the decades of neglect that I spoke about. And that's why I find it really difficult to understand why people who purport to represent these people are, are disregarding it. Because I would see it as being one of, I would see, and indeed, I would see it as being a way of protecting the union, if you were to look at it from that point of view. Because if you have empowered people and you have people who are quite content uh, with the situation, with the status quo as it is in the North, then that, the withdrawal agreement and the backstop would ensure that. But you know, the language of that, that it's going to somehow affect the constitutional question and all that if people agree to it. Like it's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of lies being told and there isn't enough examination. Uh, we talk often about what happens in the future and in the future in terms of the impact that it will have. I am deeply worried about the impact uh, that the language that's been used and that the British Prime Minister is, is, is using in his behaviour in polarising people, in polarising individuals, polarising families, polarising communities. And I wonder how much it's going to cost us. Now, how much it's going to cost us even in terms of addressing all of that uh, and things, and even in, in terms of the North, in terms of things that have been achieved under the Good Friday Agreement. But we can no longer uh, be the pawns of the No Deal chessboard of Mr Johnson and Mr Cummings. Uh, they're playing a game. It's so obvious they're playing a game. But I do commend you, Minister, and I commend uh, Minister Coveney, and we as a party in Sinn Féin will continue to work with you um, to ensure that the interests of all of the citizens in this island are protected.